Hi guys! Um, today I have my uh, last two weeks of April empties to go through with you. Um, I thought I was like doing it fast enough but I have a lot to go through so I'm just gonna jump in um, and show you what I was melting. Um, so we'll start with clamshells. Um, first I have Scentsy Pink Tulips. Uh, this is one of my all-time favorite oh, Scentsy scents. Um, it is a sweet floral um, and it's just beautiful. I wish it was a little bit um, stronger, but it's really long lasting um, and I do recommend it if you find it. It's not available right now, but it tends to come back and bring back my bar. Um, I have a very old clamshell of uh, white grapefruit from Sensi that is just <laughs> very beat up. Um, this is a very, uh, it's almost like the rind of a grapefruit. Um, it's very clean. It's nice. Um, I have other grapefruit scents I like better. Uh, I got this off of someone who is selling their stash. So I think I have about two more of those to go through. Um, this is Scentsy Lemon Verbania. Um, this is available right now in the catalog and it is a very cleaner lemon lime sort of scent. Mostly lemon though. Um, it's good. I think I like it more in the cleaning products than in wax, um, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> I can tell I like it. Um, this is another bar of pink tulips. Uh, I have a lot of pink tulips. I'm actually going to film uh, a recording of my stash soon, so you'll see. Um, so I went through two of those. It's my favorite bedroom scent. Uh, <laughs> another Plumeria Peach. Uh, this is the April scent of the month for Scentsy. Uh, they just changed to... Uh, palm trees and ocean breezes uh but it is a peach floral scent and it actually goes with the warmer that you're looking at behind me it's good um i'm not a crazy peach person so you can definitely like the floral kind of saves it for me i have a lot of this because i got it with the warmer of the month to make sure that i got that warmer um it's good it's if you like peach and you like florals you'll probably like this Um, this is a bar of Luscious Lemon from Scentsy. This was a bring back my bar maybe like a year or a year and a half ago. It's nice. Um, you can get Squeeze the Day right now, which is available and it's very similar, a little bit more vanilla. I actually like it better. So, uh, that's a good replacement since that one isn't available right now. Look at that. I did this one. Um, this is Prickly Pear and Agave, also available right now. I've been really into clean and citrus scents, so um, I, got, I picked this up in my last Scentsy order. It's really nice, clean, almost like aloe smell. It's really nice. Um, if you like clean scents, you'll probably like it. And it actually was a really good performer. So if you like scents like this, I would recommend picking it up. My Scentsy information is below if you want to order anything. Oh, this is so good. Okay, this is Bonfire Beach. Um, in the Vendor Wax world, this is called Beach Nights, but this is Scentsy's version of it, Bonfire Beach. And it is by far my favorite version of Beach Nights. It's very marshmallow heavy. And it's not too salty sea air. It's really, 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 really nice. Um, I'm actually need to get more of it. So Bonfire Beach, I highly recommend that if you like beach night scents. And this is Be Fabulous. Um, I thought I was gonna like die for this. I thought I would love it because I'm pretty obsessed with grapefruit scents. Um, it was just okay for me. It's like a musky grapefruit scent. Um, and I just didn't really love that musk element to it. So there's other grapefruit scents I would probably prefer outside of that. But it is in the catalog right now and a lot of people like it. So if you like grapefruit scents, try it out. 
This is Lavender Violet from the Lysa Garden Wax Collection from Scentsy, which is sold out, but you can probably still add it to your Scentsy Club. If you don't know, uh, Scentsy Club is the subscription service that Scentsy offers. So like if you love a bar and you wanna get it forever, um, you can put it into your club and they'll ship it to you monthly, bi-monthly or quarterly. Um, and as long as you keep it in your club, uh, they'll make it for you forever. So it's great if you're an addict like me and like when, when you fall in love with something, you fall in love with it. Um, but anywho, um, so Lavender Violet, I was pretty sure, oh Lord, I was pretty sure I wasn't gonna like this, but it had a marshmallow in the, or scent in the notes. And so I tried it out because I've never really had like a lavender marshmallow and that's super common. So I thought, oh, maybe I'll like it. But, um, it's too astringent for me, which lavender almost always is. Um, so not for me. I mean, I melted it and I enjoyed it. Sometimes lavender is so astringent that I can't even melt it. Um, and, you know, it was fine. It just isn't something I would pick up again. Just not in my wheelhouse. And the well, other bar is... Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> this is strawberry basil. From the same collection um I really wanted to love this because I love herbal fruit scents like I love lavender rosemary or I'm sorry love or a uh, lemon rosemary um yeah this just is weird the strawberry is very fake and like oh kind of unpleasant. I just didn't love it. Some people really like this, um, but it's very polarizing and I don't smell the basil at all. So, um, that whole collection was a little bit of a womp womp for me. I was pretty excited for it, but it didn't, didn't do that much for me. Um, this is watermelon tangerine, um, which is currently in the catalog. If you're interested, it's a very, um, fresh watermelon scent. Um, not like a real watermelon, like it's still like a watermelon scent. Um, it's very hard to find like a real watermelon scent. Um, it's good. It's light for me in my house. I've said it before, but um, for anyone who hasn't watched my other videos, my house has very high ceilings. Um, it was like, it used to be a loft where the whole top floor was one and the staircase is kind of in the middle of it. So the so scent can get lost. Um, so if you don't have a house like that, it's probably fine for throw. In my house, it just wasn't strong enough. Um, but if you want to put it in like a bathroom or a bedroom, it would be fine. All right, I think that's it for Scentsy. So let's do Super Tarts. Um, this is currently going in my house. Um, this is Pan by Super Tarts. Um, ocean, strawberry, champagne, white white grape, lime, orange, rose, and geranium. A lot of that is Lush Supernova um, with, I think, ocean, ocean and strawberry maybe. Um, so this is good. I put it in my whole house and if I had to do it again, I probably would just keep it in the bathroom or a bedroom because Lush Supernova is a little perfumey. Um, if you like Lush Supernova, I would highly recommend this because that's mostly what you smell. Um, and if you like kind of like girly scents, this also could be good. It's a really interesting smell. Oh, this one. So I told you I've been, oh, I've been super into citrus scents lately and Super Tarts actually, um, although I'm not crazy into them anymore, does really good citrus scents. So this is Fizzy Lifting Drink. This is a pretty popular scent from her and I remember um, probably like a year, year and a half ago when I started really getting into Super Tarts, someone was saying that their husband was sick, that, that he had cancer and this was all that he wanted to smell because it's like a very fresh cleansing smell and everything else upset his stomach and I always think of of it and how everybody sort of came together to make sure that she had all the, you know, all the wax she needed in this scent, which I thought was really nice. So, um, this is a great scent. Um, it is a very clean lemon scent. She has a very good lemon oil, whatever oil she used, maybe it's this lemon custard oil. 
it's not crazy in the fizzy pop. Like, I'm not like, whoa, that's a fizzy scent, you know? It's more citrus, but it's really good and it does last very long, um, less than about two days. And for me, that's a lot. I usually take my wax out in a day just because I have so much wax. Um, so I would recommend this. I would definitely pick this up again. It also be good to mix. Um, super random. Um, this is Goose Creek Rainbow Sugar. I don't buy a whole lot of Goose Creek. In fact, I think this scent, I'm looking to the side of me, yeah. This scent is the only Goose Creek I currently have and I do like it. It's a very like sweet candy, you know. Yeah, like almost like, sh almost like sugar from Scentsy um, or like a pink sugar smell. Um, it's good. Uh, I was like really obsessed with it. And so I have three or four clams of it. Um, you know, I would pick it up occasionally again. There's just other scents like this that I like more. So but they usually do have that. This is a sample from vintage chic scents, which I don't normally melt very much of, uh, nor do I order from anymore just because her wax doesn't throw in my house. Um, this is Define Gravity Key Lime Cupcakes and Cotton Candy Frosting. It's a sweet lime bakery scent. Um, if you like all of that, you would like this. I put it in my office. <laughs> it's just a sample. Um, and her samples are really big, by the way. Like, this is like, you can't really tell, but like, this is a big cup. Um, I wouldn't get it again. It's just like, you know... I, I know outside of my office this probably would not throw and this is more of like a full house kind of scent for me um but if those notes sound good to you and you don't have terrible ceilings that are super high and suck up scent you'll probably like this and I don't know what her um what her schedule is right now because I have not been purchasing from her lately I think I actually left the group um, okay, so this is Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds by Destination Wax. Got this when I got a custom order with her, which you have to get up on, you have to get on, on a list, um, to get on her customs, but it's really fun. She has like a really interesting set list. So, um, her wax throws most of the time for me. So, um, I had never tried uh, Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, and this was the first time I ever got it when I got this order, which was a long time ago. Um, it's good. It's very perfumey. Her version of it is pretty perfumey and a little less marshmallowy. Um, I don't think I would get it again, but I enjoyed it. This was like a little piggy bar. It was really cute. Um, oh, this is like, oh, smells so, so dead ass. Smells so good. Uh, this is Rose Girl's Pink Clothes on the Line. This is Pink Sugar and Laundry. This is the best Pink Sugar and Laundry scent I've ever smelled. By far my favorite. I'm definitely gonna stack up again. Her Pink Sugar is just like my favorite Pink Sugar ever. Um, so yeah, this is great. Highly recommend if you like these kind of scents. This is more Rose Girls, uh, Jumping on Clouds. This is, uh... I think, I think this originated in Mario Melters, um, from the name, you know, jumping on clouds. Um, this is a bakery set. I don't have the notes, but it's just a very like, and there's definitely like marshmallow in it. Um, it's a really good, like generic bakery set and she mixes this with a lot, with, uh, uh, with a lot. So it'll be like lemon jumping on clouds and strawberry jumping on clouds. Um, it's a great mixer. That's how I can see it being used most of the time. It's good. Um, a couple pharmacist daughters. Um, this is I'm Yours. And these are like little tiny pieces. They're really cute. Uh, Zen, Olive Branch, Rosemary, and Grapefruit. This is like right up my alley. So I was really excited. But it just wasn't very strong. I melted it um, in my office bedroom, which is where I'm sitting right now. And it's a pretty small area. I could smell it, but um, you know when you just can't smell something well enough to like make an opinion about it? That's kind of how this was. So um, I did let it cure for a little bit. You can see this was from January 16th, but maybe this is something that just needed to be cured more or maybe my, my nose just didn't pick it up. 
Um, and this is Fat Tuesday from the Pharmacist Daughter Blackberry Jam Palo Santo Summer Scoop Bread. This was okay. Um, I spelled the Palo Santo mostly, which is not surprising. You know, it's a very strong smell, especially with those other two notes. Um, so yeah, it's okay. I probably wouldn't get it again. Um, it didn't blow me away, but I enjoyed it. I think I have more of it actually too. This is a sample from Hayden Rowe in Beach Nights. I just got a few loaves from her and this was one of the samples in it. Um, I don't like her Beach Nights. It just doesn't smell like Beach Nights to me. Um, so that's just my personal preference. Um, it was fine. I just was like, yeah, no, not for me. So, you know, Beach Nights, pretty standard stuff. This is uh, Destination Wax Magic Marshmallow. This is Magic Spell, which is a Victoria's Secret dupe plus creamy marshmallow. Um, I had like a whole, um, one of those piggy bars I was talking about before, which is pretty big um, in this. And so I kind of like burned myself out on it. But if you like uh, Magic Spell from Victoria's Secret, which is Love Spell, in case you didn't get that, um, it's, you know, they just call it something different. So they don't get in trouble. Um, it's, you'll really like this. It like sweetens it up and, um, it was sort of makes it hang in the air more, if that makes sense. Um, and this is from September of 2020. So it, um, it cured for a while before I used it up, but it was a really good bedroom set. Um, this is an empty bag that had <laughs> something in it that I don't know what it is. Um, Oh, this is like my, this and pink clothes on the line are like the stars of this month. This is, oh, I'm so excited to order more of this. This is Destination Wax Lemon Fresh, a very complex and fresh lemon fusion scent, lemon sugar by Fresh Type. So I really um, like lemon sugar by Fresh. Um, they used to have, they still do have like, um, lip balms like chapstick and they're really soft they sort of like melt into your lips um the scent is this it's very hard to describe but you know it if you've ever smelled that chapstick it's a like an elevated lemon scent like almost a almost a perfumey lemon scent but yeah it's just it just smells like that like it's very hard to describe what the notes are if you like lemon scents and you like things like you know those Jo Malone you know a lemon thyme kind of a, yeah try this I have never found this scent with another vendor unless they don't call it this <clears throat> and I'm just you know missing it um I'm gonna buy loaves of this. Like this was a whole loaf, like a gigantic loaf, and I went through it in a month. It is so good and it throws so well. Um, and it works in the bathroom, in the bedroom, and in my house. So definitely the hit of the month, Lemon Fresh by Destination Wax. And she's filling this giant pre-order that she did that I missed, so annoyed about. Um, not that I need more wax. Um, so she should be open, I think, in the next couple months. And I hoping I can get um, some more of that. Just a few samples left. This is Cashmere Cedar Wildflower Honey Palo Santo from L3. This is a sample. Um, this is okay. The Palo Santo was the champ in it. Um, I was kind of hoping to like it more. It was fine. I wouldn't buy it though. It's not just on my jam. This is Toodles from Super Tart, which I think is Lemon and Laundry. I think it's her mouse ears. Mouse ears is um, lemonade and lollipops. Sorry, it's so confusing. So she has a scent called Mouse Ears that she mixes with other things. Just like she has a scent um, called Jaws that she mixes with other things. And so um, one of her scents is Mouse Ears and it's it's lollipops and lemonade. And then she mixes it with different things. So this is mouse ears mixed with laundry, if I'm remembering correctly. Am I remembering it correctly? I don't know. It's mouse ears mixed with something, but it's good. And it just smells like lemonade. <laughs> um, yeah. So if you like lemon, you should try her mouse ears blends. They're really good. I didn't used to like them, but I love them now. 
And my last thing is a sample from L3, which is Bergamot Waters Bath and Body Works type. I um, put this in my bathroom downstairs and I couldn't really smell it until I was like taking it out of the warmer and I was really close to it. So um, I wouldn't buy this, but uh, maybe with more um, cure, uh, cure time, it would do better. So uh, those are my empties for April. And uh, I think I'm going to switch out my melting basket for May. Um, thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below. Um, I hope you're all doing well and selling all the great things and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.